Hi everyone and welcome to the first video for my new website OnlineMathAcademy.com. In this video, I'm going to prove to you the fact that many math students have a hard time coming to grips with. And many people have told me I've made this up, but I have in fact not made it up, it's true. And that's the fact that 1 is equal to 0 0.9 repeating, or 0 0.9 with a line over it there. Uh, 0 0.9 with the line over it again is 0 0.99999 and the nines continue on there's infinite number of nines after that decimal place and I'm gonna prove to you that 1 is equal to that number okay so let's get started here first what we're gonna do is we're gonna say let X equal 0 0.9 repeating and that's fine uh, then what we're going to do is multiply on both sides by 10. And when we do that on the left side, we get x times 10 is 10x. When we do it on the right side, 0 0.9 repeating times 10, well, what happens there is when you multiply a decimal by 10, you just move the decimal place one over to the right. So instead of 0 0.9999999, infinite number of nines, it's going to be 9.9 .9 repeating. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is subtract x from both sides. And this is a legal thing to do because if I have an equation, like I do right here, it's certainly legal to subtract the same thing from both sides. And so what am I left with? I'm left with 10x minus x equals 9.9 .9 repeating minus x. Okay, well, 10x's take away 1x is 9x. And over on the right side, we're going to rewrite x. Um, remember, x is equal to 0 0.9 repeating. So we are going to rewrite x as 0 0.9 repeating. And this side is 9.9 .9 repeating minus 0 0.9 repeating. Okay, well, if we simplify that uh, pink bit right there, it's just going to be 9.9 .9 repeating minus 0.9 repeating is just going to give us 9. So we're going to be left with 9x equals 9. Okay, well now, now that we're here, let's go ahead and divide by 9 on both sides. So 9x divided by 9 equals 9 divided by 9. And it's certainly it's okay to divide both sides of an equation by some non-zero number. And so 9x divided by 9, these guys cancel out. They don't really cancel out. Remember everybody, it's 9 over 9 times x and then this is just 1. And we don't write 1x, we write just x. So it's going to be x equals 9 over 9, as we just said, was 1. So there we go. We have this now. And now we have the proof because if x is equal to 0 0.9, repeating, and if we use a bunch of uh, legal moves to take that guy to this guy right here, and these were all legal moves, you could you have an equation, and then I just manipulated the equation, and I got that uh, x is also equal to one, then by transitivity. or the transitive property, 0 0.9 repeating has to equal 1, and the proof is done. The transitive property is if A equals B and A equals C, then B is equal to C. So if the one thing, if A is equal to the one thing and it's also equal to the, the other, these two guys are equal. And that's the only thing you really need to do to finish up the proof. So it is a fact, uh, check on Wikipedia, check on anywhere you want to, 1 is equal to 0 0.9 repeating in the real numbers. So there you go, there's a fun fact. Uh, I've often told my students you should impress people with this, so go impress somebody with this. Um, and visit my website, OnlineMathAcademy.com, if you need any help in math. Uh, if you're struggling to reach your math goals, just want some help, or you're totally lost, I'm your guy to, uh, to remedy that situation. And my online math services are nice because you don't have to travel anywhere there's no travel all you need is a broadband internet connection get you into an online collaborative uh, learning environment with me and we go and the really great thing the best feature of my site 
is that every lesson is recorded so and made available to that student specifically after the fact. So if you forget something, you're going through your homework, you need a refresher, maybe you're before the test and you want to you want to remember, oh, how does that explain again? I didn't I am not I'm not quite there now. But you watch the video and boom, there you are, you know it again. You're like, "Aha, that's how he explained it." And then you know it. So it's just a great service um, and I encourage you to take advantage of it, please. Uh, OnlineMathAcademy.com. Thanks for the watching the video. Tell your friends, show me some love.